what's poppin'? It's me again, Angeline. So, dumating na yung order ko from Lazada. And guess what? It's the Beauty Glaze Color Shade Press Powder Eyeshadow. So, nabili ko to for 748 pesos. Kasama na yung shipping fee, which is 76 pesos. So, this eyeshadow palette has 72 shades of eyeshadow inside. Actually, at first, I was stuck between kung bibilin ko ba yung 60 colors na eyeshadow. Beauty Glaze din yun. Or this one. But at the latter part, I decided to buy this one. Kasi I badly want to try this eyeshadow palette compared to the other one. And syempre, mas marami siyang colors. Kasi as far as I know, maraming nilabas na eyeshadow palette yung Beauty Glaze. And one of the latest eyeshadow that they released is this one. I was intrigued by this eyeshadow palette. Kaya ko to binili. Kasi most of the reviews sa Lazada, they are all claiming na pigmented itong eyeshadow palette na to. And it's worth it. So, for today's video, I want to know if that's true. And syempre, isi-share ko yun sa inyo, just for you to be aware kung ano yung mga bibili nyo online. I will put the Lazada link in the description box if ever na gusto nyo rin bumili after watching this video or not. <gasps> we will never know. So yeah, let's start! So before anything else, iti-check natin yung packaging ng product na to. So ito yung front page. Medyo may pagka may pagka shiny yung texture na ng cover ng eyeshadow palette na to. So as you can see, I don't know kung ako lang nakakapansin pero mukha siyang notebook. So ganito yung itsura ng cover ng eyeshadow. And here's the back back of it. So sa cover nakalagay dito yung color shades. And then press powder eyeshadow. Sa bottom naman is yung beauty glaze. And for the back of it, nakalagay dito yung beauty glaze color shades. Naka-indicate dito yung ingredients, directions, warning, and then nakalagay din dito yung manufacturing date and the expiration date of this product. And that's a good thing. Okay naman to. Makapal. Ayan. Para siyang board. Sa side naman, color shades yung nakalagay. Yung concern ko lang is Dumating siya na ganito yung itsura niya. And as you can see, merong mga folds sa gilid. Yan, parang na-damage siya. And medyo nakaka-disappoint. Pero it's okay for me as long as na-okay yung loob. And the day na dumating to, chinek ko kagad kung may damage ba yung loob. Kasi minsan, there are tendencies na nabasag na yung eyeshadows. Pero so far, wala naman. So, tingnan na natin yung loob ng eyeshadow palette na to. So, ganito yung itsura sa loob. This is the page 1. Ganyan. And meron siyang plastic na naka-cover sa eyeshadows. Just like the usual eyeshadows na nabibili natin. Sa right side, may nakasulat. Beauty Glaze, we give you more than colors. We pride our products to be wallet-friendly and bunny-proof. And then, nakalagay dito yung Beauty Glaze at the bottom part. Okay? So, for the page 1, we have the warm tones of eyeshadows. And for the page 2, we have... Tanggalin mo natin yung ano, cover. For the page 2, we have these shades. We have like um, the cool tones. So, at the right side, nakalagay, amazing pigmentation, good textured, long-lasting, luxury formulas. We can provide you with a first-class experience. And lastly, we have page 3. Hanggang page 3 lang tong Beauty Glaze. So, most of these um, shades are cool tones of eyeshadows. So, at the right side, nakalagay, trends come and go. Yes, that's true. We are dedicated to creating the best possible products in every shade imaginable for our beauty fans. Oh, I get it. Nagets ko na. So, yung mga nasa right side, parang yun yung kiniklaim ng eyeshadow palette na to. And malalaman natin yun if it's true at the end of this video. So far, so good. Ang concern ko lang for the packaging is yung mga folds sa gilid. And I love how hard the packaging is. Like, pwede mo siya ipukpok sa kaaway mo. Like, nun. I think hindi naman siya madaling masira. So now, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung patch test na gagawin ko using this eyeshadow palette. And we will see kung ano yung magiging result. So here's the patch test for the Beauty Glaze eyeshadow palette. And here's for the page 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, isang swipe lang ginagawa ko sa mga shades ng eyeshadow palette na to. Just to see kung pigmented ba talaga yung colors ng eyeshadows or not. 
I'll be showing you the process for the page 1, but for the rest of the pages, papakita ko na lang sa inyo yung result ng patch test. So we are now done to page 1. Here's the result for the page 2. Lastly, we have here the result of patch test for the page 3. tayo sa pag-check ng packaging sa patch test and now the only thing that we need to do is to test it syempre, kailangan natin siyang i-test sa eyelids natin. Iba pa rin kasi talaga kapag itatry na siya sa eyelids so yung gagawin nating eyeshadow look for today is rainbow. Just for us to maximize the colors of this eyeshadow. So I already did my eyebrows. Actually, brunash ko lang siya. Hindi ko pa na-fill in yung gaps ng eyebrows ko. But later, gagawin ko yun. And I also did some concealing sa face ko just to cover up the eye bags that I have. The first thing that we will do is to put primer on our eyelids. Just to be fair. So I will use this NYX primer. And maglalagay din ako ng concealer sa eyelids ko. Teka lang before anything else, I'll just finish my eyebrows. So, nalagyan ko na ng concealer yung eyelids ko and natapos ko na rin yung kilay ko. So, for the inner corner, I'll use lemon this one and after using my brush dito sa eyeshadow palette medyo medyo chalky nga wow actually it's not bad tingnan nyo kung anong klaseng yellow yung nabigay ng eyeshadow palette na to and after I apply it wala siyang masyadong fallout and after that next one would be this one orange So, ang susunod natin gagamitin shade is itong Sunrise. Wow, nagmukha na siyang red. And next shade would be itong Rustic. Wow! See? Grabe, sobrang red. Tignan natin kung... Wow! Oh my gosh! Maglalagay lang ako ng tape. If you're going to ask kung anong klaseng tape to, just the regular one. And after this, ibiblend natin ta. Just to avoid the harsh lines. So after this, kung ano yung ginamit ko sa taas, yun din gagamitin ko sa lower lash line ko. I can tell guys, I'm impressed, especially with the yellow eyeshadow. And if you're going to ask kung merong mga fallouts, meron naman, pero minimal lang naman siya. So now let's move on for the right side of my eyelids. I guess we're going to use the cool tones of this eyeshadow palette. So for my right eyes, I will use the shades in page 3. Maybe makakagamit din ako dito sa page 2. Let's see. I will use this aqua shade, this one. And so far, wala pa rin siyang fallouts. Kaso nga lang, kailangan ko pa siyang... Kailangan ko pa siyang i-build up ng siguro mga 5 to 6 times bago mo, bago mo ma-achieve yung color na gusto mo. And then, isunod natin itong ocean shade. And then, after that, this one. So, balik tayo sa page 2. So, gagamit tayo ng violet shade.
So, katulad ng ginawa ko kanina sa left side, yung color sa taas, yun din yung color sa lower lash line ko. So, for my inner lower lash line, gagamitin ko tong Dreamy. For both sides to guard. Siyempre, hindi mawawala yung glittered eyeshadow. So, yun yung ilalagay ko sa inner corner ng eyes ko. So, yung gagamitin ko sa right side for my inner corner, for the inner corner of my eyes, is this topaz. I don't know kung napapansin nyo, pero ganyan yung itsura niya. So, for the right side naman, gagamitin natin itong mermaid shade. So, tapos na ako sa eyeshadow part. But before ko ibigay yung final review ko, I'll just finish this look and I'll be right back. Here's the final look using the Beauty Glaze Eyeshadow Palette. And I super love it, guys. Truly, talaga. And to be honest, guys, I love how it turned out. So as for my final review, for me, maganda yung packaging kasi feeling ko yun siya madaling masira. I was just disappointed sa corners ng um, eyeshadow palette na natanggap ko. I'm hoping na sa inyo hindi. I also love the idea of making it like a notebook. Sa packaging, all in all, maganda siya. As for the eyeshadow itself, although hindi siya masyado nag-pop out or hindi siya masyadong vibrant, nung nag-patch test ako, bumawi naman yung in-apply ko na siya sa eyelids ko. So, yes, it's pigmented. Medyo may pagka-chocky lang. And nung trinay ko sa eyelid ko, may konting fallouts. Blendable din yung eyeshadow. Hindi, hindi ako nahihirapan na i-blend yung eyeshadow sa eyelids ko. Is this what we call don't judge the book by its patch test? Ginamit ko nga rin pala yung black na eyeshadow for the inner corner of my eyes at the upper part. And I can't wait na matry ko lahat ng shades sa eyeshadow na to. Maybe ito na rin siguro yung gagamitin ko sa mga next look na gagawin ko. Siguro I recommend na kapag ginamit nyo tong eyeshadow na to, gumamit din kayo ng primer and also don't forget to put concealer sa eyes nyo para naman mag-pop out talaga yung pigmentation ng eyeshadow. Actually, kahit sa anong eyeshadow, kahit hindi siya sobrang pigmented, sobrang helpful talaga. Naglagay ka ng primer and then ng concealer. That's all I can say. So, as an overall, do I love this eyeshadow palette? Yes. Kasi it's pigmented. Just like what they claim. Totoo nga yung mga comments na nakita ko sa reviews. And I'm happy that I bought this one. Do I recommend this eyeshadow palette? Yes, then. Kasi, given na it's, it's 700, no, it's almost 800 pesos na rin kasi. For 800 pesos, meron ka ng 72 colors. Meron ka ng pigmented 72 colors. I mean, 72 shades of eyeshadows. And, sulit na yun for me. Yeah, so far yun lang. I'm just hoping na tumagal to sa akin. And if ever siguro na maubos to, ito rin siguro ulit yung bibihin ko, maliban lang kong, Naglalabas na naman ng bagong eyeshadow palette yung Beauty Glaze. Siyempre, itatry ko rin yun. So, that's it. If you have any questions regarding sa eyeshadow na to, you can comment down below. If you have any inquiries, I'll try to answer all of your questions. So, that's for today's video. See you in my next vlog.